Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Thursday, February 18th. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. The heart of your reading, we have the Seven of Cups reversed. You're clearing up your understanding of what you actually want. They're stressing this. They're asking me to say it again, but I'm, I'm kind of s trying to suss out the emphasis that they want me to make. Um, okay. It's something like you, you wanted multiple things either intellectually or like it would be nice to do that, but you've zeroed in on what you really want. Like where your heart is pulling you. Like, okay, if pressed, if I really have to choose, the thing that's gonna actually make me happy is the cup out of the seven that you've chosen. Your challenge, ten of pentacles in reverse, how do I take that cup and make practical use of it? How does it fit into my life? How, you, you want something long lasting here with the Hierophant. If we're talking about dating and relationships here, it's like having multiple options in love, specific people that you've been talking to and or dating, and your quandary when you're deciding, well, who am I going to keep and who am I not going to date anymore, is can I see myself with them long term? The fact that the Ten of Pentacles is showing up in the reverse as your challenge tells me that you're you're mainly weeding out people who are not relationship material or don't look like they want to make a long-term commitment. You really want something long-lasting with this Hierophant energy. Hierophant can represent the institution of marriage, so you want something that would, if not specifically marriage, represents like a long-term commitment. Perhaps marriage. You might be looking for someone who wants to settle down and get married and do the traditional route. The Hierophant does does talk about tradition. Oh, interesting. They're having me bring up tradition because you might be... Um, yeah, they're actually confirming this for me. So for some of you, it centers much more around not necessarily long-term commitment as it does following in a tradition of yours, a family tradition, a cultural tradi tradition. In the recent past, we have the star reversed, four of cups reversed, magician in reverse. Um, these are some of the attributes of the options that you are declining. Um, the ones that have not met your interest, that you just feel ho-hum about, so-so, like, all right, uh, I could take it or leave it. It doesn't really do it for me. I recognize that it's an op with the Four of Cups energy, it's like, I recognize it's an option, but um, I'd really rather go for something that I can emotionally engage with that would feel uh, genuine. Um, the Magician in Reverse and the Star in Reverse tells me that you're having challenges um, manifesting your wish, manifesting your desire. You feel like uh, 
I'm looking for the right word here. It's not restrained or held back. You feel um, thus far ineffective at manifesting your destiny. Okay. Show me the energy of the environment. Page of Swords. Lots of questions. Questions that lead to interesting answers. If we're talking about dating, that's um, getting to know someone. Lots of questions back and forth. Interesting information that's useful to you that builds an understanding of do you align with my traditions or do you align with my desire to have a long-term relationship? Spirit is promoting uh, open dialogue and an inquisitive nature. The desire to get to know people better. But before the new can begin, something has to end to make room for it. Ten of Swords. Um, Ten of Swords can be a mindset, but in this instance, I feel like the mindset is something that's holding you back from going for it. Because you've already narrowed in on the thing that you believe is... Uh, hmm? That your heart is pulling you toward. I'm checking in with a possibility that this could mean something else, and I think they're telling me no. I, I was trying to ask Spirit, um, could this mean a lack of promising options altogether? And they're saying no, not really. If you feel that way, it's likely that you you know that there's there's one amongst the pack that you really you feel in your heart much more than the others. So what is this the thing that needs to end? The belief that you can't have your oh your wish. Yeah, okay. Feeling like you're you're ineffective to uh, that your efforts thus far have been ineffective in manifesting your destiny or your wish your desire, um, you might not actually be allowing yourself to aspire to your greatest wish. You might think, well, you know, I can't have it all. I shouldn't hold out for perfection. Um, I need to deal with the options that are in front of me and choose the best one. You might see that as being pragmatic. Spirit sees it as something that you need to let go and dream the big dream. Be more idealistic. Don't settle. Show me surprise energy for Scorpio. Judgment. You think you know what you want? You're going to act on it. You're going to formalize that decision. If that means um, you want a specific person that you're dating to take things to the next level, I think this represents you telling them so. Potentially saying the big three words to one another for the first time, or you saying, um, I, I love you for the first time with the six of cups here at the bottom of the deck.
it has a very sweet energy about this decision. Um, very tender. Your hopes and fears, lovers in reverse. What if they don't feel the same way? What if I tell them how I feel and they don't say it back? Yeah, there are risks in love. Let's see the end result. Eight of Swords in reverse. Whatever you're worried about is not going to occur. So I think that means if you're worried about them not returning your affections, those worries will be put to rest. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Well, we do have Temperance in reverse, which tells me the lack of integration. Which would indicate that you two, if, if this is a person and you're expressing what you want, the moon, oh, and the tower. Yeah, okay. This one might not go your way. It's like you won't have to worry about it anymore. You'll know that you two won't be joining forces and building a life together, um, potentially because of some uh, them pulling back, keeping their feelings a secret or not wanting to, not wanting to go to a deeper place with you. The moon represents very like serious emotions. Show me advice. High Priestess in Reverse. Well, okay, please take this as it resonates, but what they're giving me is that what you're trying to manifest is not aligned with your higher good and you know that. You're, you're trying to push the issue. This won't be for all of you. But this is a specific message for those of you watching who are on the wrong track. If that message is for you, you will have indications of it already. You'll, you'll be receiving intuitive hits and ignoring them, pushing through it, determined to work toward the outcome that you want. But you'll be experiencing... You might be losing sleep over this, fears, doubts, insecurities about it. If all of that is like bound up in your experience of going after what you want, um, then it, it comes down to you're trying to manifest something that isn't aligned with your higher good. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.